So earlier this month, I got 144,325 clicks from Google Discover in just seven days. And my mind was absolutely blown with not only the amount of traffic, but the earnings that can come from this avalanche of visitors. Holy honeycombs. As I looked at the article that got all this traffic, I was left wondering, why did Google Discover pick up this article? So I went down the rabbit hole and did a deep dive on what types of articles get tons of traffic from Google Discover. What I discovered is that it's all about the title of the article and the type of content. So today I'm going to share with you seven articles crushing it on Google Discover right now and the strategies that you can implement on your site starting today. Oh, and stick around until the end because not only will I share my article with all the traffic, but also the exact amount of money my site made when my site was getting slammed with Google Discover traffic. So what is Google Discover? Well, it's not something you can submit your site for or apply to. Google just picks it up or it doesn't. Google Discover is an article suggestion feature that shows up on Android devices by default when users go to do a Google search or in other areas when using the Chrome mobile app. All of these articles are Google Discover articles that I'm being shown based on my interests. Google Discover is designed to surface content that is relevant, engaging, and timely for users. Remember, the key to getting traffic from Google Discover is producing high quality, engaging content that aligns with users' interests. In addition, a great featured image that captures attention is also very important. Google recommends images that are at least 1200 pixels wide. So if the content is the key, then the title of your articles is the battering ram that breaks down the door. Let's take a look at seven real life examples of articles performing well on Google Discover right now. First, I'll share my article that got nearly 145,000 visitors over a period of about seven days. So here it is, 15 best businesses that run themselves for passive income while you sleep in 2023. This article from nichepursuits.com likely performed well on Google Discover for several reasons. First, with a growing interest in the current trend of passive income streams, the topic aligns with popular discussions and search patterns. Second, the idea of businesses that run themselves while you sleep sparks curiosity, urging users to click and find out more. Finally, the inclusion of 2023 indicates timely and relevant information. Now, I'll be honest, my article got picked up with a little luck as well. I never could have predicted that this would happen. So let's take a look at some sites that are getting traffic from Google Discover right now and see what we can learn from their titles. Oh, and I'll share how much money this article made me later in the video. So stick around for the big reveal. Number two, Disney ride gets surprising overhaul will change guest experience forever from insidethemagic.net. This article title does well for a few reasons. First, mentioning Disney ride immediately grabs the attention of Disney fans, which is a large audience. Second, words like surprising and forever evoke strong feelings and curiosity about the specifics of the overhaul. And third, the title implies a transformative change, hinting at a significant impact on guest experience. Now, I actually had Kurt Schmidt, the founder of InsideTheMagic.net, on the podcast last year, and he shares all of his strategies for getting over 20 million visitors a month to his site. The link is in the description if you'd like to watch that. Oh, and if you like this kind of content, will you click the like and subscribe button for this video? Every click helps. Thank you very much. Site number three, CEOs are secretly plotting against hybrid work and pushing for a five-day office return by 2026. This is from fortune.com. First, the mention of CEOs and the year 2026 make it very specific. The word secretly plotting adds a touch of intrigue and drama. Next, with the ongoing debate of hybrid versus office work, this topic resonates with many professionals wondering about the future of work. In essence, the title taps into current work trends while also inciting emotion and curiosity about behind-the-scenes decisions. Okay, site number four is one I like because it's not really a current event. The article titled Marathon Training on a Treadmill, What Experts Say from RunnersWorld.com. This likely attracted attention on Google Discover for several reasons. First, many individuals might be looking for alternative training methods, possibly due to weather conditions or the convenience of indoor training. Second, 
Authoritativeness. The phrase, what experts say, implies the content is backed by knowledgeable sources. Implicitly, there's a problem addressed. Is training for a marathon on a treadmill effective? The article then seems to provide expert-based solutions or insights. Okay, number five. I like this example as well because it isn't necessarily a current event, but it's written in a way that makes it feel current. I added a mini monitor to my desk setup and it's changed how I work. Here's how, from tomsguide.com. It's effective for Google Discover due to first, it hints at transformational impact. It's changed how I work, prompting readers to learn about the potential benefits. Second, mentioning the mini monitor offers a concrete detail about the change made, attracting tech enthusiasts, or those contemplating a similar edition. Finally, the title implicitly suggests a challenge in the author's previous setup and presents the mini monitor as a solution. Everyone loves transformative content, right? Okay, site number six on the list is cnbc.com. The title, this 32 year old was making $17 an hour. Now his side hustle brings in $500,000 a year. His top five business lessons. It's a long title. This article likely resonates on Google Discover due to specificity. The age 32 year old, the previous wage $17 an hour, and the impressive income of $500,000 a year offer concrete details painting a vivid before and after picture. Emotion and curiosity. The rags to riches narrative evokes an emotional journey of success, making readers curious about the transformation. Outcome and results. A significant change in earnings is highlighted, creating intrigue around the how and why. All right, and finally, site number seven is interesting because it's local in nature. I'm from Washington State, so this caught my attention. The title, this city in Washington was just named one of the saddest cities in the entire country. From KTOY1047.com. This likely garners interest on Google Discover due to specificity. By highlighting this city in Washington, readers are drawn in to find out which city is being discussed. Next, the descriptor saddest cities is emotionally charged, evoking empathy and curiosity about the underlying reasons. Contrasts and comparisons. The title juxtaposes one specific city against the entire higher country, magnifying its significance and evoking curiosity. It challenges established ideas. It contradicts perhaps more favorable perceptions of cities in Washington, urging readers to click and learn more. Okay, phew, there you have it. Seven examples of articles performing well on Google Discover right now. Now, if you want a further list of 25 specific articles and why they are performing well on Google Discover, I created a free download for you. Just go to nichepursuits.com slash Google Discover or click the link in the description and I'll send you this free download. The best way to get your site to perform well on Google Discover? Well, analyze how other sites are currently doing it. This free list of 25 articles and the reasons why they are doing well could really help you up your game with Google Discover traffic. Again, it's nichepursuits.com slash Google Discover. Now, the moment you've been waiting for. Earlier in this video, I promised to share exactly how much money my article that exploded with Google Discover traffic made. In total, my article about businesses that run themselves for passive income made $6,261.54 over a seven day period. That's nearly $900 a day. I don't know about you, but I'd like to have more Google Discover days just like that. Oh yeah, keep it coming. And this article pushed my site to its highest traffic day ever and highest display ad revenue ever. At the peak, nichepursuits.com did just over $3,000 in a single day in ad revenue across the entire site. Overall, I hope these examples of sites crushing it on Google Discover will spark some ideas for your own sites. Now, excuse me while I go and write some curiosity-driven articles. Want to know what I'll write next? Well, follow along at nichepursuits.com to make sure you don't miss out. Aren't you forgetting something? Um, yeah, I guess, guys, I'll get back with you on that.